The new at 630 is not something you'd expect to hear from a judge. Sir, I don't want to hear any of your constitutionalist crap. I mean, just save it for somebody else who's stupid and believes that. That was the scene in a Spokane County courtroom this week and just one part of a bizarre and dangerous story. The courtroom drama is just one part of the case that actually started with allegations that a man assaulted his teenage daughter. What follows is a tale that includes allegations of kidnapping, a man proclaiming he doesn't need to follow U.S. law and who prosecutors say threatened that a Spokane family be executed for treason. Melissa Luck walks us through the case in this 4 News Now exclusive. He is uh, alleged to be an accessory for kidnapping, a significant charge. Most first court appearances look and sound like this, but nothing else about Howard Patton's court appearance yesterday was typical. It starts with criminal charges against another man, Daniil Bagmet. Police say he assaulted his teenage daughter last September. With those charges pending, the state placed the girl with another Russian family for her safety. That's when Howard Patton enters the picture. Police say last week Patton showed up at the foster family's home claiming to be an attorney. He handed them documents that said they needed to return the child to her parents. And if they didn't, they would be arrested, deported out of the country. All of their assets would be confiscated. Your charade is over, he wrote. If you return, you could be executed by firing squad for high treason. Fearing for their safety, the foster parents handed over the child. And by the time the state figured out she was gone, police were able to find her and arrest Padden and also her biological parents on kidnapping charges. And that's when things took an even more bizarre turn. When Patton made an appearance this week at the Spokane County Courthouse, he immediately indicated his belief that he wasn't a U.S. citizen and isn't subject to U.S. law. But Court Commissioner John Stein wasn't having it. Listen. Is this the Howard Patton trust you're talking about? I'm appearing as a living man. Sir, I don't want to hear any of your constitutionalist crap. I mean, just save it for somebody else who's stupid and believes in that. Without his cooperation in the proceedings, Stein appointed Patton a public defender who tried to poke holes in the charges. We don't have firing squads. This is not something that is going to happen. And there were no direct threats made other than what was in this paperwork, which uh, very clearly Again, it's not something that occurs in the United States. So. But Stein contends this family is from Russia and may not be familiar with how U.S. law works. Prosecutors revealed Patton already faces a litany of charges for pretending to make and enforce his own laws. Mr. Patton, who uh, claims to be the de jure chief justice of the state Supreme Court. Patton faces 32 counts of intimidating a public servant in Stevens County. In that case, he's accused of threatening the county treasurer because he didn't believe in paying his taxes. He sent this fake foreclosure document to her and 31 other county and state officials, including Governor Inslee. In it, Padden says they have 30 days to hand over their property, and if they don't, they will be tracked down by bounty hunters. Padden is now booked on those charges and faces these new kidnapping charges in Spokane County. Whether he believes in the U.S. legal system or not, he's now very much a part of its process. I'm Melissa Luck, 4 News Now.